What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Mike Lemming coming back at you with a week 36 update for you guys. If you've been following along with this 75 gallon reef, you'll know that I've been struggling with um, phosphates and a hair algae problem. Um, as of two weeks ago, I started, you know, getting my hands wet. Um, I did a 10 gallon water change two weeks ago and then, and then on Friday I did a 20 gallon water change. Um, things are starting to look better. Um, there's still hair algae all over the tank um, and now that um, the big stuff is out it's getting really hard for me to get the little stuff out you know I can't get my fingers in there and pluck all of it out but I'm doing my best so on the days of my water changes I've been changing out my GFO and my carbon it's been a weekly change out maybe that's a little excessive maybe it's not maybe it's where I should be um, but it seems to be helping So here's the left side of my tank. If you guys watched my last update video, you saw how there was a ton of long green hair algae all over um, in which I plucked out and it looked better, but now it's looking even better than the last time. Now the right side of my tank, it looks good from afar, but far from a good. I mean, if, you, if you dive in and take a look, uh, you'll see that some of the green hair algae is just really tough to get out with all these nooks and crannies in the rock I can't get my fat fingers in there to uh, to get this stuff out So this little Zilla rock I created was one of the real problem areas and as you can see it looks a lot better than last time So I'm pretty happy with the results so far Now spots like these are the real hard thing to get to when you got polyps growing and you got hair algae in the middle of them. I mean, I get in there as best I can. They slime up pretty well. I pull as much out as I can and it comes right back. Now for me, this is also one of the real problematic areas. Um, when I'm plucking, pulling stuff out, it looks like I get it, but then I step back and this is what it looks like. It's really annoying me. Now besides my hair algae and phosphate problems, a lot of my corals are doing well. Right here you see my green torch coral that I got from reefing with Billy Pipes. I appreciate it, Billy. Um, it's not fully open right here, but the thing is doing really well. This red acan I got from uh, Travis from Fish Hex a long time ago. Uh, it hasn't grown a ton, but it's still doing really well. Now, I always forget the name of the coral on the left, um, so if anybody knows, chime in in the comments. Uh, but that thing's doing really good too. If you see on the right side of it, that lighter green is all the new growth. Uh, and then on the right side, you see that green um, hammer coral, and that thing's doing really well since I moved it. So here is a purple with the light green tip torch that I got from Danny over at Coral Lust. Um, this thing's doing really well and I'm happy uh, with its progress. So the Zoas on the left are covering one of the rocks. Uh, these things have been crushing it for a long time. They really do well. Um, and then on the right, you see that mini maxi anemone. Um, it's been there for probably three months now and it seems to really love this spot. Now these um, Zoas or Pallies I have right here, I got from an LFS. I don't have a clue what they are, but I thought they were really cool. So if anybody knows, chime in. Now this Hydnophora was one of the first corals I ever bought, and I've had it just about the entire time I've been in the reefing hobby. Um, it's doing good, but the funny thing is that it's an SPS, and really none of the other SPS I have are doing well at all. So this is one of the ones I really like. It's a nice bright green. So I only have a couple fish in my tank at the moment. Um, this right here is the yellow watchman goby who is paired up with a pistol shrimp. Um, they did live on the right side of my tank for the longest time, um, but they moved and now they live on the left side. I've had him for a long time since I had my 30 gallon um, and this is my dude. I really like him. Now here's my purple tank Tommy. Um, I got him when he was much smaller. I've only had him in the tank for, I don't know, five months or so. I uh, got a good deal on him. Uh, but he is a little aggressive, uh, but he is eating good. And since I started um, the manual removal of the, uh, the hair algae, he's actually been picking at it, which is nice to see for a change. 
Now I am thinking about getting rid of them, um, but we'll see what happens. I heard a yellow tang is much better for, for algae eating. Um, so we'll see in due time. Now to follow up on my last video uh, regarding pH, um, you know, I tried to raise it. Um, it's stable. It's between 7.68 and 7.8, I would say. So I think I've come to the conclusion I'm just going to leave it for a while and, uh, and see how it goes. This is one of my favorite um, views of my tank. It's the full tank shot from the left side. Um, you know, you can see all the way down. You can see a lot of movement. Uh, I really like this view. So this is a view of the left side of the tank looking at the surface agitation. It looks much better from here than it does from the front, but I'm curious, would this increase my pH if I were to um, make this more aggressive? So there's a lot of work that I still need to do with my tank. I'm going to keep up with these weekly water changes and I think I'm going to continue with the 20 gallons a week uh, water changes along with changing out the GFO and carbon. Uh, now I did want to give a quick shout out to Ricky's Reef 806. Um, he actually gave me a booster pump to help me out with my, with my uh, RODI production. Um, I appreciate it a lot, Ricky. So if you guys want to check out his channel, um, the link will be in the description. Um, so yeah, you know, I appreciate you guys following along. Um, if any, if you have any insight or input or suggestions for me to do to, um, to take this back to where it needs to be, just let me know. Um, all right, guys, I'm going to end it here. Like, comment, subscribe. Your boy Mike Lemons out. Peace.